Hello Year 7, I'm here to introduce the static electricity experiment that I hope you'll carry out this week. I'll be showing you what materials to use and how we actually do the experiment and then I'll also show you the worksheet which you'll have in your Teams area and give you examples of how we fill that worksheet in. So first up I'm going to show you the materials I've been collecting this morning for my house. I'll take my camera and you can see on my desk there I've got a whole range of different materials. I've got glass and wood, I've got pencil and pen, an empty yoghurt pot, a coke can, I've got a metal knife, a spoon, a ruler, and there's an egg cup, and there's a plastic cup and then here to rub those materials I've got a duster, I've got like a car cleaning cloth, I've got a tea towel, I've got my jumper and I'll try and find a silk scarf somewhere if I can in the house. So, once you have all your materials together, you're going to need to prepare the piece of tissue paper. And all we're going to do is take little pieces of this, take off little pieces, and just pop them down on the desk in front of us. You know, 10, 15, 20 little pieces. Not very big at all. And we're hoping that we can attract them with our charged objects. So I've put some pieces on the desk in front of me and I'm going to take one of my materials. I'm going to start with this kitchen spoon. I'm going to take my duster and I'm going to rub the duster on the kitchen spoon. 10, 15 seconds or so. And then I'm going to see what happens when I bring the spoon near the little pieces of paper. So, I put them on the desk in front of me. Let's see if we can see those pieces of paper. And you can see it's picked one of them up. It's picked two of them up. Just about picked one of those pieces of paper up. So, I've managed to, oh, there's another one. I've managed to charge up the plastic rod by rubbing it with the duster. So in my results table I'll have plastic spoon, duster and the observation was that two pieces of paper were picked up by it. Now you then need to repeat that experiment using a different variety of materials, that's the things you're going to be charging up the objects and a range of materials that you're going to rub them with. In each case it's a good idea to record what the rubbing material was. It might even say on the label what it's made of. So it might be a car cleaning cloth, polyester. And it might say knife, metal. You might say pencil, wood. You might say drinks can, aluminium. I've got an egg cup, that's like ceramic. And I will try and charge up different objects using the different cloths. Now, of course, I might want to actually go and do my plastic spoon with my tea towel and with my car cleaning cloth to see whether it makes a difference which material I'm rubbing with or the material of the object I'm trying to charge up. Let's have a look at the worksheet. So this part looks at the worksheet you will find in your Teams area. Uh, please don't charge up your cat. Looks like someone's emptied some styrofoam packing things onto their cat and they've all been attracted. Very entertaining. The worksheet goes through the materials you can use to be rubbing with. I put a large list here. You might be able to find all or some or even more in your house. The objects are going to be charging up. I went into my recycling box and found plastic bottles and all sorts of stuff. The instructions, just like I went through with you in the first half of the video. And then I've put in some of my results. So the first thing I did was use the duster with the plastic spoon. And I noticed that two pieces of paper were attracted. Next, I'm going to use the duster again, but I'm going to try the metal knife. And each time I will type in what I found 
in each box. Clearly you won't type what I found, you'll type what you actually observed. When you've done that, for as many as you can, now I've put a massive results table because there are loads of combinations. Do as many as you can cope with. And then the last box here, it says which combination gave the best result. Write down which combination of material you were using to rub and the object you were trying to charge, which combination gave you the best results, which made the most pieces of paper stick or they jumped from the furthest away. Now there may be more than one. You may be able to decide which was the best, but put down which ones were the best in that case. When you finish, of course, as long as you've opened this in Teams, you can shut this down and it will save in your Teams area. And at the end of the week, you can click Turn In and hand in all your work. Enjoy the experiment.